Megalodon, the name itself conjures images of the ocean's ultimate predator, a massive shark, bigger than anything we've ever seen today. But why did this giant go extinct? How did the ocean's apex predator disappear? Today, we're diving into the science behind Megalodon's extinction, and trust me, it's not as simple as just it died off. First, let's get into the size and scale of Megalodon. This shark could grow up to 60 feet long, with teeth the size of a human hand. It wasn't just big. It was a top-tier predator, feeding on whales, giant fish, and pretty much anything that crossed its path. But if it was such a dominant force in the ocean, why did it go extinct? There are a couple of key reasons why Megalodon vanished from the seas. Let's break it down. The first major factor, climate change. Around 15 million years ago, the Earth began cooling, leading to what we call a global climate shift. As the planet cooled, ocean temperatures dropped. And so did the number of warm water species that Megalodon depended on. This meant fewer food. Sources for a predator that relied on a steady diet of large marine animals, like whales. Speaking of whales, here's where it gets interesting. Whales evolved and changed in ways that made them harder for Megalodon to hunt. During the time Megalodon lived... Whales were also evolving and growing in size. Some of them started to migrate, moving into colder waters where Megalodon couldn't follow. This further disrupted Megalodon's food supply. The larger whales were also developing more sophisticated defense mechanisms, like increased speed, size, and even group behavior, making them harder to catch. But food wasn't the only problem. Megalodon faced fierce competition from other marine predators. As the planet cooled and oceans changed, smaller, more agile predators like the great white shark began to emerge. The great white, though smaller than Megalodon, was better adapted to hunting in the cooler waters and was able to exploit new food sources that Megalodon couldn't tea reach. Over time, these smaller, more adaptable predators outcompeted Megalodon for resources. And let's not forget about the changing ecosystems. As the Earth's climate shifted, new species began to thrive in different ocean environments. Ecosystems that once supported Megalodon started to break down. The shark's large size and specific needs made it less adaptable to these. Changes. It wasn't just food that disappeared. The habitats that Megalodon relied on were changing too, making it harder for it to survive. So, how did Megalodon go extinct? It was a slow process. A series of environmental changes that eventually made survival impossible for the giant shark. As oceans cooled, food became scarce and competition grew stronger. Megalodon was slowly edged out by smaller, more adaptable predators. The final blow, the mass extinction event that wiped out many species at the end of the Pliocene epoch around 2.6 million years ago, while other species were able to adapt or survive. Megalodon wasn't equipped for the changing world. It's also important to note that Megalodon's reproduction may have played a role. Sharks like Megalodon took a long time to reach sexual maturity, and their reproduction rate was relatively slow as food became scarcer and their environment more hostile. They couldn't reproduce fast enough to maintain their population. Now, does that mean Megalodon is completely gone? 
Well, we've all heard the theories. Could it still be lurking in the deep, dark oceans? While it's fun to imagine, scientists believe that Megalodon, S extinction is a natural part of the planet's evolving ecosystems. The conditions that once supported this giant predator no longer exist. So in the end, the extinction of Megalodon wasn't just one thing. It was a combination of climate change, a changing food supply, rising competition, and an inability to adapt fast enough to survive the ocean's transformation. Megalodon may have been the king of its time, but as the world changed, it simply couldn't keep up. But even though Megalodon is long gone, its legacy lives on in our imaginations. The giant shark still holds a place as one of the greatest predators to ever roam the earth. And who knows? Maybe the deep ocean still hides some of its ancient mysteries, waiting to be uncovered. What do you think? Could there still be remnants of Megalodon hiding in the depths of the sea? Or is it truly gone forever? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the extinction of the Megalodon, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more fascinating ocean facts. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay curious.